you're here with Miss Libby Rose and today we're going to be looking at the Hobbycraft MIDI machine. This fab machine in the cool Hobbycraft colours comes with two spools of thread, two bobbins, a spare needle and a needle threader. So you're actually all set up and ready to go and the amount of things that you'll be able to do with it, everything from home dressmaking right through to quilting and all sorts really, you'll be up and stitching in no time. The machine comes with two empty bobbins, so we'll need to fill it up with the colour of our choice. So I'm going to pop my spool of thread on the thread holder at the back, put its little holder on top of it. Then there's a little guide on top of the machine and you want to follow that guide so that we can make the thread as it's going onto the spool nice and tight. And then we want to tell the machine that we're not ready to stitch yet. We want to wind our bobbin on first of all. So how we tell the machine is by clicking this across. So you wind it on a little bit. And then we're ready to go. So we press our foot down on the foot pedal And once the bobbin is full, you just want to take your foot off your pedal and click it back and you can take it off and you've got a nice full bobbin. Then we're going to start threading up the top thread. First of all, we pop our spool of thread on the spool holder at the back here and we go to step one. So this lovely machine has got all the steps on little diagrams as we go along. So it makes it nice and easy to see. So step one, we go in and around here, our first bit of tension, we go down, and around step two, up and through this hook. So I pass it through and it shows you on the diagram which way around to pass it through to bring me down all the way down to step four. Now this is the last bit before we thread the needle. So we make sure the needle's at its lowest point by turning the wheel on the side. So that's gonna move our needle all the way down and then it shows us this last little eyelet. So we pop it through this eyelet, which is just above the needle. Pull that out. Then turn the wheel so my needle's back up again. Then thread the needle from front to back. And threads are always towards the back of the machine. So now we want to put our bottom thread in that we've already thread up earlier. So I take the bobbin case off and I pop my bobbin in. And it's as simple as that with this machine. So I then want to bring the bottom thread up to the top to meet the top thread. Turn the wheel one full circle towards you, always towards you. And then you can see that it has grabbed that bottom bobbin thread. And then I pull this top thread and it's pulled the bottom thread up to the top. Now both threads to the back of the machine and pop the cover back on. So next, I grab my piece of fabric and I want to slide it in ready for stitching. So I make sure that the presser foot is raised by using this lever here, just on the side. So you can set the machine to low and high speed. So L is for low speed, the middle one is off, and H is for high speed. So if it's your first time sewing, then probably set it to low so the machine doesn't take off. So I'm gonna set my dial to straight stitch, which is number one, and then the machine will go along. But really, you just wanna sit your hands comfortably on either side, holding the fabric nice in place. So two stitches backwards, lift, and just pull on the fabric. Now, if the fabric doesn't want to come out immediately, just give the wheel a bit of a wiggle on the sides and it will come out. And then once you've finished your stitching, you can trim your threads by using this nifty little thread cutter on the side here. 
for any more information on the products that you've seen today, go on to the Hobbycraft website, the blog, or pop in store and speak to one of the colleagues. 